Hi, my name is Dr. Kylie Cox. I'm a board certified pediatrician at Tanner Clinic in our Syracuse location. And I want to talk to you today about bronchiolitis. This is an infection of the small airways in the lungs in children under two. It's commonly called RSV, but in fact, RSV is just one of the many viruses that can cause bronchiolitis. If your child is over two years old, the same physiologic process, we actually call it viral pneumonia. But if they're under two, then we say it's bronchiolitis. It usually starts with symptoms of a common cold with or without fever and that lasts for one to two days and then in the following days you may notice your child having difficulty breathing, working harder to breathe, a faster rate of breathing and those would be signs that I would want you to be evaluated in my clinic. So chest x-rays and viral testing aren't necessary to make this diagnosis but can sometimes be used by clinicians if they need more information and viral testing is likely going to be done if your child's admitted to the hospital. So in addition to labored breathing, fast breathing, or increased work of the breathing, other signs or symptoms that would prompt you to seek evaluation would be if your child isn't drinking well and not producing the same normal number of wet diapers or isn't making tears when they cry, I would seek evaluation for that. Also if your child's acting listless or lethargic, that would be a reason to seek evaluation. Since bronchiolitis is caused by a virus, there's no medication that makes this go away faster and we have to just support your child as their body fights this off. Some ways that you can do that at home include nasal suctioning and nasal saline drops. I really like the nose Frida and a lot of families find that helpful. You can put a humidifier in their room to help loosen up some of that mucus and then give Tylenol for fever and you can give ibuprofen if they're over six months. The caveat to all of this is that if your child is under two months old, I would recommend they be evaluated for any fever above 100.4, even if they're exhibiting other signs or symptoms of bronchiolitis. The best prevention for bronchiolitis or other respiratory illnesses is frequent hand washing, encouraging your kids to cough or sneeze into their arms or wear a mask, limiting visitors, especially if you know that they're sick, and wearing masks. If you're concerned that your child has bronchiolitis or any other respiratory condition, make an appointment with me today.